welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with two very easy but going to be beautiful fall centerpiece DIYs. And you guys know, again, easier the better for me. This is what we're going to start with. These plastic bowls, and I already took the one set out, so I'm just going to show you what we did up to this point. It came in a two-pack here. There are these just these white bowls, plastic white bowls. And then this set of cups here, they came in a four pack, just these plastic gray cups here. And what we are going to do with it, take one of the cups, oh, let's tape together. You're going to take your hot glue, you're going to cover the bottom of this cup, tip your bowl over, stick it in the center, and you're gonna let that dry. So then when you are done, you're gonna flip it over, and this is the shape that you will have. With this is outside drying, what I took was this two times ultra cover paint and primer ultra matte black spray paint here that I got from Walmart. I can't remember exactly how much it was, I, less than $6, so I think it was like five something spray paint the entire thing. That is outside drying, so we're just gonna skip to DIY number two, and we're gonna start that while that is sitting out there drying for us. So that easy peasy takes just a couple of seconds, really. It doesn't even take that long. So moving on to DIY number two. I got this face at the Dollar Tree. I've had this for actually quite some time. I know they still have them. I see them all the time. Kind of reminded me of a beehive. <laughs> but we got this vase. And what we're going to do with this vase, we're gonna take this floral foam. Just set that to the side. We're gonna take this piece of floral foam, open that up. I have, because you guys know that I bought like a ton of these brass rings from the Dollar Tree because I need the middle ones for the centerpieces that I'm making for my daughter's baby shower. So we're gonna use the set that we have here. This is the tag that's on it. So brass, re brass wreath rings, you know you get three in each set. They go from a small one to a medium one to a large one. We're gonna take that small one out, put it to the side because we're not gonna use it. We are going to use the larger one and the medium sized one. And what we are going to do is get our knife here and we're going to slice the center here. This is going to be where our wreath rings are going to sit. So kind of just cutting the center here, giving it some room to sit in there. We're gonna, our wreath rings here also like kind of connect, you can see a spot. So that's the spot that's gonna get stuck in here so we don't even see it. It's gonna go right down in there. Just like my other ones, I'm going to add hot glue to it just to kind of give it a little bit more security. I guess is the best way to put that. <laughs> and then because we, we want them to stand up, which obviously I'm gonna have to move this camera a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. So taking the, this part is really the only part you need to see. And then we're just going to fill this in with some hot glue. We're really gonna get that guy to stay in there. And then we're gonna take our, excuse me, our medium sized one and we're gonna go right in there and join that together. Kind of just holding it still there. You gotta give that hot glue some time to cool so they stay up exactly where you want them. But just right in there, like I said, giving that hot glue some time to cool so your wreath rings stay put. And I know I'm gonna have to <laughs> lift this up so you can see better. But just giving that a minute. And it takes a minute. I don't know, you guys notice, and I think I've said this before, the hot glue on the floral foam takes a little bit of time to, to cool. 
but we just want those to stand up nice and straight in the middle there like so. So this is what you'll end up having. Let me just pause you here, adjust the camera so you can see a little better. Okay. This is where this next part comes into play. We're just going to take our vase and we're going to add some hot glue and we're just going to hot glue the floral foam right on top there. Now I have debated. I don't know if I want to flip this around and do it this way or leave it like so, which I think I'm just going to leave it like so. So some hot glue all around the edge here to really get our floral foam to stick. Then we're just going to go right on top and glue that right down. Just kind of using your best judgment here as far as the center. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the part we're going to be focusing on the most. So if you don't really see the top why I'm videoing, but the bottom is done. That is all we're going to do with the bottom. And now we have the top here. So everything's in place. This is where you get to have fun. Use your own individuality. But this is where you're going to get your flowers. And we're just going to start decorating this. And you're just going to cut your flowers, whatever ones you want to use, and we're just going to start decorating. Pushing these in here and making this the most gorgeous, gorgeous thing <laughs> ever. But I've got, I know I'm like, I'm sorry here. So I have all of my flowers on the floor. We have some picks here we can add in. We have all kinds of things. So this is the part where you are just going to 100% make this your own. We have some leaves here. So we can fill in some spots with some leaves. And we're just going to have a good time here. Get all your flowers cut, pushed in. You can use your traditional fall colors like I am. You can use different colors. You could use whatever it is you would like. And this is it. We're just going to decorate this floral foam. This one like has pumpkins and little berries and stuff on it. And we are just going to go to town here with our flowers. And we're going to go all the way around too. That way the entire floral foam is covered. And I'm leaving the leaves because I feel like the leaves on these flowers just give it a little bit something as well. Bringing this one down a little bit. That way we could just get a little bit here, a little bit on the sides. And I told you, like, this is the best part because you just have all the fun in the world here with your own personal style. I'm trying to see what flowers I already used. That's why it's, I love these DIYs because, again, you can just make these fit you however you like it. Shoving all that in there. And it's just so quick and easy, too. That's what you gotta love about these. And it's gonna be stunning. <laughs> Excuse me. It's just gonna be stunning. I know it is. I can feel it. I love it. Ooh, just ruined that one. But yeah, so. I am just showing you what, how I'm doing it, and we're just going to have a lot of fun here. Pushing all these flowers in and just having a really good time making it our own. I'm 
I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. This is also where you can add your own center. I have some pumpkins here. I'm not sure if I want to use these pumpkins, which I may because they're a lot more colorful. Maybe just adding one there and then going around with the flowers. Or we also have these picks that have these really cool pumpkins on them that we can kind of take apart here. We can add these in the center if you wanted to have a little bit, a little bit of a different type of thing. Because we have these little pumpkins that we can add in here. It really depends on obviously your style and you know your flair here, however you like to do it. So you can add, like I said, you can use this kind of pumpkin here. You can add this kind of little pumpkin here. You can add the little pumpkins off of the flower picks we can add in there. So really and truly goes by how you want to do it. We can add this little pumpkin in here. Some berries, I like that pumpkin in there. Kind of feel like it needs to be raised a little bit. So we might actually get like another piece of floral foam or something to kind of raise this up or you can get it to sit in the flowers. It's completely up to you. So that's as far as I've gotten. I'm just gonna finish going all the way around this and I'll be right back. Okay, so look how beautiful. I am like already obsessed, right? Gore, just. I'm so happy to find another reason to use these million wreath rings that I have in the house. Seriously. So all I'm gonna do lastly is take a flower, or so we're gonna add some hot glue. I know you cannot necessarily see the top here, but you will in the end. And I'm just gonna glue a little bit, just one or two on the top of the big wreath ring, and then like one or two on that center wreath ring there. So we're just gonna add the hot glue to this, and we're gonna bring it up to the top and just kinda hang on to it for a second. You will see this much better, obviously, when I move. <laughs> Let me bring it down. There you go. So just adding like maybe one, two to three little flowers up there, like I have a bunch. And it all depends on just like what you have and what you want to use, because I have a ton of like little flowers. I have some bigger ones. Just trying to see what looks the best. I'm just kind of adding those on and they kind of seem to stick pretty quickly and easily so that's good like that and then we're gonna add maybe a little something on this bottom one here getting the strings out of the way I don't even think we're gonna put big ones I think maybe we'll put some little ones on this wreath right here. And then just sticking that on there. And look at that, it like seriously just sticks. <laughs> just fantastic. I don't know if I want to just do like two of these maybe. Like I said, completely up to you how you would like to do yours because there's a bunch of different ways and that's however you want it. And I think this is probably gonna be the last one that I add. And that will be it. I just have to move this so you can actually see how absolutely gorgeous this came out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, there it is. Let me see if I get this flash on. Look how absolutely gorgeous this is and it takes minutes. That is it. Try to get you up here a little closer, just so we can look down it. Just stunning. I absolutely love. And again, you can do this in so 
many different forms, different colors, different pumpkins, different anything, different flowers, different everything. But it literally took seconds. Well, <laughs> that's not true. Literally took minutes. It is not a very long project whatsoever, but it's absolutely stunning. And it all came from the Dollar Tree, which is even better. But I am going to pause you, go out, get the bowl in the cup that we spray painted that should be dry, and we're gonna move on to DIY number two. Okay, so here we are, spray painted. Oh, I thought I like missed a spot, but I didn't. That's it. You glued a cup and a bowl together, we spray painted. And then what we're gonna do is find a vase, which I have, again, all from the Dollar Tree. Trying to get this sticker off without having a hard time. So we shall see. Perfection. You don't even have to have glue anything else together. You can just place this in here so you can interchange. You don't even, you know, you could hot glue that in there if you wanted to. But that's where it's going, right in the center. It's kinda dusty. You could hot glue if you'd like. I'm not going to. We're just gonna place it in there. This is where, again, you have tons of fun. You take your flowers and you just kind of fill around the candle holder. Whatever you want to use. I have some orange. I have some red there. And we're just going to add these in here to the sides. Kind of just having them stick up just a little bit there. We have some flowers here we can use. Let's see what we have left from the first one. <laughs> and we're just going to cut some off. And place them in. These guys might give you a little trouble. You might actually have to cut them off just so they have like a little stick on it as well. And again, how easy peasy. Just gonna cut. All right, we're gonna get these guys out of here a second. Get the flowers in. And then possibly. There we go. And then just, I think I need more flowers because I think I ran out of bigger ones. You can add some berries if you would like. You can add this pine cone. You can add whatever you want. And it's just gonna be gorgeous and it's so easy. Just adding along here. These, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to pop off. You're gonna kinda need a little stem on them so you can get them to stay up in there as good as the other ones. So, just gonna cut a little bit of a stem, like so. That way, they stick up for us. But I mean, this is gonna be, it's almost done. So cute and so easy. This guy's just gonna be a pain today. <laughs> Guess we need to fill it in a little bit more here. But already gorgeous and so simple. Guys, I, you know me, love the easy peasy DIYs. Get this guy back out of here. I know, I just have to add some sticks to them, some stems, to make our life a little easier. And then just fill in. Fill in all around however it is that you would like it to look. I just gotta add stems to that. Just got the berry, and you don't even have to glue anything in. Just kind of place it in there, fill it in how you want, and it's just that easy. And there's so many options. Well, we need the red one. So many different options because you can do whatever you want. I like, I like the blue and stuff that's come out, but you guys know like I like more of like the traditional fall colors. 
these two need to go opposite. And I think I'm just gonna find like little berries or something to stick there. And then that's pretty much it, seriously. Actually, we'll use this acorn that's on one of these picks here. And we're just gonna cut that off of it. Stick it in. Add your candle, which I wish I had a bigger candle, but this is the only candle I have right now. And this is that luminescence. This is from the Dollar Tree as well. You can use any candle. This is just the one I'm going to place in here. Come on. And then that is it. And you have a gorgeous candle holder for fall. You can add more, you can add less. You want to keep the you want to keep the flowers and leaves and stuff away from the flame, obviously. So you might have to just tuck that guy down there. And that's it. You can add other things to this if you would like. I do have like little, like this little thing that I got from Dollar General. The pumpkin very well may not fit on here. No, it's not going to be too, it'll be too long. But you could take this apart. You can add a little, you know, a little thankful thing to the front. That's not really fitting, but you know what I'm saying. You can add something to it. You can take away from it. You can do whatever it is that you want. And I'm just going to go place this over to the side here so you can get a better look. I'm just going to maybe pull some of these little flowers off and stick them in to fill it a little bit more. And that's it. And that took just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to just play with it. I'm going to stick it over in the corner there so you can get a better look. And then we're all done. Okay guys, so there it is, all finished. And again, minutes, I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. You can obviously interchange the candle if you wanted. We have a flameless candle here. If you wanted to add some glitter in your life, you can add that in the center, which is stunning as well. Oh my goodness, I get so excited. Because you could just pull all that out and change this to Christmas. You can put Christmas flowers in it, a red candle. You can do whatever. You can take that out, obviously. Put the other candle in. We can light that. And just look how pretty. I absolutely love. And again, you know, it took minutes. And that was it. The hard, the longest part was waiting for that to dry, but it's absolutely stunning. I love it. I hope you guys do too. And until next time, bye now.